Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we are going to be recreating the iconic brand logo, the Sun Maid. Everyone remembers this logo from the box of raisins. Super iconic, historic, all of these great things. Established in 1912, the Sun Maid. Let's get started. The Sun Maid Raisin Girl. So I have three medium sized boxes from the Home Depot. I've got a basket that I got from the thrift store with some grapes I ordered from Amazon online. I think they were only $10 for all these grapes. I will put in the description box down below where I bought everything, exactly what I paid for the costume. You'll find all the details you might want in the description box down below. I have a white shirt that I got from the thrift store for five bucks. A red skirt that I already had. Red flats, which is what I think the Sun Maid would wear. We don't really know because all it shows is her upper body. So, but that's what I think she might wear. And then, of course, the red bonnet and the brown, beautiful, full, curly wig. It's not super curly, just kind of a wave. Very pretty, just like on the box. And that is the Sun Maid Raisin Girl. We're gonna accent the white shirt with this blue ribbon. And that's gonna be it. The box is the only thing we're gonna really be working on. Everything else is ready to go. Let's get started. made raisin box pretty cool it turned out great I only spent like $25 making it because I already had all of my acrylic paints which is what I used to do all of the wording and all of that all the raisins and stuff at the bottom I used acrylic paint to paint all of that on the back it's just a panel of felt I had bought a whole bunch of felt when I did the Mrs. Butterworth costume and I had some left over so it's basically a curtain of felt back there in the back and I'm gonna stand right there inside of it don't mind my patio it's a little bit of a mess it's Halloween season and everything's a mess during Halloween season so <laughs> but yeah it turned out great come back here and you would get inside I use just tape because I'm not going anywhere. 
Like if I was going somewhere, I'd probably just hot glue it uh, to the top and maybe Velcro to the sides or something so it wouldn't be so obviously tape. You know, there's a lot of different things you can do actually, but then I just stand inside there and look out. So that's the finished product. Turned out pretty great. And yours will too. It's makeup time. Now, there's not a lot of makeup involved with this, but I was just gonna go ahead and film myself doing my makeup anyway because there were some things that were important I kind of wanted to share with you regarding the sun made and the costume itself and just give you some ideas and stuff. So roll with me. This is a very natural look. You're just gonna use some foundation, uh, probably some mascara, a little bit of black eyeliner, light black eyeliner, and some blush lipstick. It's very, very simple. I've said in, in some of my other videos that brand logos are instantly recognizable. It's always a good costume and it's a quick costume. Like if you're one of these people and you wait till the last minute and you don't know what you wanna be and you or you get invited to that party last minute, oh, hey, I wanted to tell you we're having a party if you wanna come over, you know, one of those sorts of things where you know you're gonna get crap if you don't dress up as anything and you just need something quick go to your grocery store i mean there are so many brand logos that are just iconic and easy to do and you could pick up something and even come up with a couple's costume speaking of couple's costume for this costume i saw the cutest idea <laughs> talk about brand logos this family is the winner winner chicken dinner the mother was the sun maid and the father was the Quaker Oats guy. And the two kids were oatmeal raisin cookies. Like, what? <laughs> I saw this and I was like, that's crazy. I mean, that wins. That is so awesome. That's a great idea for a family costume. If you even have one or two kids, you know, dress them up as an oatmeal raisin cookie. And because, you know, the Quaker Oats guy and the sun maid got together and made these <laughs> oatmeal raisin cookies. That was just too cute. I thought it was awesome. Another thing I wanted to mention is if you're going out, you see the way I made my, my sun made box. It goes all the way to the ground. It's a box that fits my entire body. And that's not practical for going out in public. And I'll tell you why. When you go out in public, more than likely, everybody around you is going to be drunk and debaucherous. They are going to want to get inside your box. They're going to be acting ridiculous and they're probably going to end up tearing the box up uh, by the end of the night. It's not going to be something that you can just leave. You're going to have to stay in character and stay in the box if you do go out and not leave it unattended because people act ridiculous. To give you an example, when I was Zoltar from the movie Big, I had a big you know, the Zoltar machine. And my dad made it out of wood and put it on wheels. It's amazing, right? Everywhere I went, and I went to like five different contests, but everywhere I went, I stayed in character and I remained inside that box. I only got out of it to go to the bathroom. And then when I went to the bathroom, my husband was watching to make sure that nobody acted crazy. But at the end of the night, at every location, that box was a photo booth. I'm not even lying. So that's what people are gonna wanna do. They wanna get inside of it, they want to take photos in it, which is great if you're just going to like a party at a friend's house, you know, or something that's going to be more where you pretty much know everybody and you know that they're not going to be getting crazy. If you're going out, I do recommend that you go more with this style here where you're just wear, kind of wearing the box above your waist. If you want a box, you don't even have to wear a box. The Sun Maid is one of those costumes that all you need is your little basket of grapes and, you know, the outfit or whatever, and people are going to know who you are, who you're trying to be. I mean, a box is not necessary, but if you're going to do a box, just make sure you're doing the right one 
for wherever you're planning on going. Also, obviously this box is really big. Unless you have a truck or something to tote it in, it's not gonna be easy. And you could always like fold it up like I had it when I was painting it. And um, it doesn't have to be a box. You could just construct it when you get to wherever you're going. But that's another idea. I wouldn't personally recommend taking this to like Ybor City or whatever party district you have wherever you live because it's just not a good idea. <laughs> the box that you worked so hard on is going to look like a pile of rubbish by the time you're <laughs> you're finished with your your party or whatever. So just keep that in mind. Also, when you're going out, this is what I'm doing, just to show you. I have some real grapes in my basket and some fake grapes. I also have li the little like party sized boxes of raisins. And you can take that and you can like hand those out. Like as, you know, hey, I'm the raisin girl, hand those out. It's just another element you could add to your costume that'll really bring it home. Just those little tips and tricks and that cute little costume idea I wanted to share. If you didn't know, the Sun Maid was actually inspired by a real woman. Like the Sun Maid was actually a real lady. And ironically, she was an American model. She was born in 1892. Her name was Lorraine Collette Peterson. I'm just adding some blush here. And in high school, she worked as a cedar and packer for the Fresno, California based Griffin and Skelly Fruit Packing Company. Say that five times fast. <laughs> but I say it's ironic because she ended up being the, the sun maid. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with what she was doing as a job. She was making $15 a week working as a cedar and packer for this big company in Fresno, California. So you would think she might have been discovered there. But in fact, she was discovered while drying her hair in the lawn of her house wearing her mother's red bonnet and Leroy Payne an executive of the Raisin Cooperative happened to be driving by or walking by at the time and noticed her and basically propositioned her hey would you be interested in a modeling opportunity with Sunmade so of course she said yes and she was hired to promote the California Associated Raisin Company by handing out free raisin samples at the Panama Pacific Exposition. She even took part in a promotion where they actually flew her by plane over the event and she was dropping raisins from the plane. Pretty Cool was inspired by a real lady. She was actually really beautiful. I can see why she was propositioned. <laughs> in case you didn't know the story of the Sun Maid, there it is, there you have it. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup here, just a little bit of makeup, little brown on the eyebrows. It's really just very sweet nature princess sort of things. She has sort of a very rounded brow. So trying to round mine out. I'm just gonna put a little brown on my lid just to give her some color. And just kind of blend that out. Just make the eyes pop a little, you know? going to add a little bit underneath my eye just some black liner just to again make the eyes pop a little bit I want to make it look as natural as possible very natural and then just a little bit of mascara You want to put a little more pink into my cheeks so I'm gonna go with a pinky blush here and just right right there with the pinky kind of a rosy but not rosacea sun-kissed I don't know if you've tried these but these are really good it's the NYX smooth whips I've mentioned these uh, in another video but I really like them like they're really they feel moisturizing on your lips. It's a matte lip cream, but I mean, I really like them and they have some really good colors. I'm using this color. It's, it's kind of a more natural color. I think it's called Parfait. <laughs> That's what it says, Parfait. It's not a nude. It's just kind of a natural pink color. They're actually pretty long lasting too. 
once they're they kind of dry on on your lip i really like them so you might want to look into that i'm still waiting to get the red one <laughs> i've got like three colors but it's really good all right let's get dressed all dressed up and ready for photos Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Obviously iconic, right? But comfortable and easy. I bet right now, if you look in your closet, all you women out there, you probably already have a white t-shirt and a red skirt. I mean, it's almost a staple item in every woman's closet. So it's easy. You probably have all the stuff right there at home to do it. And the bonnet was really cheap on Amazon. If you're new here and you haven't watched any of my videos, I do put down below in the description box everything that I wear, things that I have to buy, how much I paid for them, where I found them, etc., etc., down in the description. And remember, every Wednesday I'll be doing a costume from now through September, every Wednesday, every week. So make sure you're tuned in if you want to see more of that. When October starts, I do two costumes a week for you guys. So I'll be doing a costume on Sunday and on Wednesday. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.